Hey guys, welcome back to Barn Built Fabrications. In the last video, we got the six liter LS pulled out of the Escalade. And today what I wanna do is get this thing stripped down, get the front accessory drive taken off. And uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and pull the heads, not to double say that, but we're gonna pull the heads off this engine and we're going to confirm whether this is an LQ9 or if it's actually an LQ4. And if you don't know the difference to tell between the two is the LQ4 is going to have dished pistons, whereas the LQ9 is going to have flat tops. One way that you could also kind of tell is the crankshaft, if it is a long or short crankshaft, meaning on the back, if you have a flat flex plate, the LQ4s were bolted up to 4L ADEs, some of them were. So if it's got a long uh, crank on it, then it's gonna be an LQ4 for sure. If it's a short, which this one is, it could be either. So again, it still might be an LQ9, which is the higher compression of the two, the only difference between them. So let's go ahead and get this stripped out. So for these fans, uh, they do make tool, specialty tools that you could use, or you should hopefully be able to, I should hopefully be able to put a big enough wrench on the nut for it, and then hopefully just one or two good wax of the dead blow hammer should be enough to break it free. We'll see, we're gonna about to find out. I think that was it, maybe. Nope. Yep, that did the trick. So you should just be able to screw it off. From there. Booyah. All right, next thing we are gonna do is get the tension off of these belts. And that way we can start taking off this bracketry. And then uh, we'll do the AC and the water pump and keep going from there. Definitely looks like she's been on a diet now. So I stripped off the motor mounts. I got the manifold, obviously this one's already off, but I got this manifold off and then stripped off all the front drive. I didn't take off the water pump yet because the next thing that I wanna do here is uh, spray this all down with degreaser and try to scrub it a little bit because as we take it apart, I don't want this junk to fall into the engine Although I'm pulling the heads and you know doing new gaskets and we're going to be changing the oil pan and it probably won't be a major deal. I'm not doing a full tear down to the block, so I do not want just some junk to get caught up in some crevice and give us problems down the road. So uh, one thing that I did do also is I put a little dot with a paint marker. You need to be mindful of your uh, which side your coil packs on whenever you take these off because they are not directional but they have a side so your driver side and your passenger side have uh, different plugs so whenever you hook them up whether you're using the factory harness or in computer ECU if or if you are using something aftermarket like a Holly that is going to give you grief if you get it backwards so uh, I'm gonna degrease all this try to scrub it down clean it up a little bit probably won't be perfect but hopefully a lot better than it is. And then we will pull off the water pump at that point, uh, and start tearing down from the uh, coil packs, valve covers, blah, 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 our crossover and so on and so forth. I probably won't pull this valley cover. Eh, I don't know, we'll play it by ear. All right, got this brushed down. It's not perfect, but it sure is a lot better. I didn't clean everything because, you know, like I said, we're pulling the head, so I don't need to spend a bunch of time right now getting these shining up. Same thing with this uh, plate. We're go I'm going to be removing the, uh, we're doing a knock sensor delete on this. Don't really need it for the Holly. If we decide in the future that 
we want to add them back we can put the uh the exterior block mounted ones on this so all right uh yeah got that cleaned up got back here cleaned up a lot so the next step that we need to do here is pull off our coil packs and then we're just doing coil packs valve covers start pulling that down and then uh yeah go from there All right, got this all taken apart. I put these off to the side in a very high tech fashion. Driver side forward, passenger side forward. And after I got it all out, I realized that I didn't really need to sort the push rods because the new cam is using new push rods, but hey, whatever, practice is good. So, uh, yep, put these to the side. We are going to be reusing these uh, rockers and just putting upgraded trunnions in them. So, uh, that will be in a future episode whenever we get to that. So, we're pretty much at the moment of truth here with this, where now we really just have to pull the head. It's just the top bolts here, the ones in the middle, the ones on the bottom. Pull that sucker off, and then we'll have our answer as to whether this is an LQ4 or an LQ9. Alrighty, it is confirmed. We have an LQ9 officially, so that is pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, awesome. Definitely very happy about that. Got to pull off the other head. I think I'm going to leave the lifters in just for now <clears throat> because I don't have a really good clean place for them right now. I'll get a container to put them in. But uh, yeah, looking good. Very happy about that. LQ4 would have been cool too, but LQ9, that should give us a little bit more power and you know, mo power, mo better. Let me get the other head off. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Got it all tore down to the degree that we're playing on today. Identified uh, for certain that this is an LQ9 with the flat top pistons, so that is pretty sweet. Uh, the next video, we're going to be pulling off the oil pan. We got a new holly pan to get installed on it. That's going to give us the clearance that we need to put it in the Monte Carlo. We'll be getting rid of the oil cooler hoses and all that stuff. <clears throat> and then over the next few videos, I'm going to be working on getting this thing put back together. I'm going to try to do shorter videos and just uh, really zero in on the specific parts. That way you guys don't have to watch a 45 minute video to get the two and a half minutes that you're looking for. So uh, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys get outside, get wrenched on something, piss off your neighbors, disappoint your mom, and until next time, keep on keeping on.